At some point today, the coveted purple jacket will be awarded for the fifth time. Who will be its recipient? Still tons to figure out. A dramatic stretch run has formed here at the Poker Masters Online PLO Series. This is the final table of event number 11, a $10,000 buy-in featuring the great game of Pot Limit Omaha. Jeff Platt alongside the great Joey Ingram. Joey, we have the jacket within reach. We have a 50K main event seat to give away, and we have 200K up top right here. Should be a fun day. I'm ready to get after what's going on, guys. Joey Ingram 1, a.k.a. Chicago Joey, in the house with my man, Jeff, the professional yes, Platt. Good to be here. A.k.a. the professional. And, Jeff, we're hopping into it right now, four-handed. Victor Isolder Blum in the mix here. We got my man, Lars Luzek, Sammy Calipero. And uh, we also got a big hand brewing right here because the Isolder called the small blind, led this flop with the uh, nut flush draw. And our man, Espen Mirmo. Isildur turns Loc the flush. Locomy? Locomy? Is that it? I, yeah, I remember we'll go with I remember him back in the day. He's, I mean, when last time I seen this kid, he was playing like 1 2 and uh, 2 4 on Poker Stars. Wow. But uh, he was always like a real, he, he seemed like a real hardworking guy, smart guy. Posted a lot, I remember, uh, on different forums, stuff like that. So happy to see him here in the mix with uh, with a couple of these high stakes Potman Omaha beast. Espen Miramo out of Norway lays that bot down. You mentioned his name, Victor Blum. Isildur is here, Semi Kelapuro. We've seen the Finns uh, throughout this week, and we see one as our chip leader, Aku, Aku. Yoan Tausta. This is his sixth cash <laughs> of the Poker Masters Online PLO series, and we're through about 12 events or so. Ace, King, Queen, Queen. Yeah, he's been, he's been at a lot of these final tables. Mm -hmm. but he hasn't really had a chance to go uh, get to that heads-up spot quite yet. We've always seen him eliminated early, but now he's chip leader here. Uh, we got some deep stacks here, guys. I think the, the smallest stack is a little under 40 big blinds, so we have a lot of play to go on here. Aku is over 100 big blinds, and Jeff, I got some good news for you. Oh. After watching all of these players battle over these past six, six or seven days in the Poker Masters, I won a couple of Pop Limited tournaments there last night. There we go. Won a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, started, I, started, I started playing them. I was like, oh. oh and uh, it turns out watching all these guys play shorthanded has really helped out for the uh, online Pop Limited tournament game. So, Like you thought it might when we entered the series. You talked about this on day one, that you could use this as a learning tool of sorts, oh my, and it's I, paid I, off. Yeah, this is this is the, one of the best Pop Limited tournament resources that in, that exists yeah. in the poker world right now. If you want to get better, it's a great game. Pop Limited tournament. So. This is it, man. I'm fired up. It's an exciting day, Jeff. Let's get it. It's a great day to be here. Great game of pot in Omaha. Ready to call some action. Ready to ready to take my mind off the craziness happening in the world out there. Absolutely. Thank you all for joining us on Poker Goes Facebook page, on Poker Central's YouTube channel, and, and we're on Twitch. Yes, we are. Twitch.tv slash Party Poker TV. Let's do it. All right, here is Older One raised the limp. From Espen, you're going to see a lot of small blind limps here. This is how it works in the great game of Pop tournaments. People limp in the small blind. They're going to often complete. Some people have no raise range in the small blind, whereas others use different strategies. But a lot of players are using a uh, – they're going to limp call most of their range. They're going to raise maybe the top percentage of it, and then they're going to fold the bottom percentage of the range. $200,000 up top in this one. All four of these players guaranteed 45K. Yeah, you see that, Jeff? Sharp. My God, these Scandinavian guys have some great yeah. hair. I don't know what's going on up there. We must have something in the water or something like that. Maybe they're going to know that. That's, that's salmon. What are they eating up there, Jeff? Do they have salmon? Know, you, a big, question. you a big Norway, Norwegian cuisine <laughs> no, aficionado no, no, or I'm what? Not. No. Could go for some good salmon, though. Shout out to Oslo, man. Yeah, it's true. Isildur got that grizzled look on his face. I think that's the picture when he when he called down that sick bluff at the final table. Oh, yeah. Kings. Yeah. So we're going to see some some people use this limping the button strategy versus raising. It's a uh, it's a new it's a different strategy, right? It's something that you see from some people, something you don't see from many people. I think a lot of players would just raise this up at the king ten five three double suited. Is there chooses to limp and he's going to make a min bet on this river and take it down. That will work for Victor Blum out of Sweden. This is his fourth cash of the series. With a win in this event, he will move into fourth place on the overall standings. Those standings currently led by Andras Nemeth, who that won guy, event number two, who won event number nine, and who won event number 12. That is three wins so far in this series. PLO tournament. God, that's what they call yeah. that. That's what they call that person. i got to post this on my uh, on my Instagram page. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. At Poppy GTO. Poppy GTO. 
You see this live at the bike show last night? They're playing in plexiglasses and masks. The one guy looked like a nuclear yeah, doctor in Chernobyl yeah. trying to trying to go through the radiate the, the, the whatever what is it called radiation. He's going through radiation playing poker. I, Those I guys are some yeah, degenerates, was, brother. Yeah, that that, that much Fiending. is true to say the very least. Put the poker in my arm and shoot <laughs> it in my veins, Jeff Platt. So those guys were saying, man, they're ready to get at me. It is what it is, right? What are you going to do? Hello to everyone in the YouTube chat. We have Wisco Baron there, Raphael. Man, Wisco. Larry Underwood with a special shout-out. I love you, Joey. That's from Larry. Jonathan, what's up, Jonathan? Fucking Neb. Thank you, Nicholas buddy. in the building. Yeah, slow down, man. i got to give these guys shout-outs. That's right. What's happening, guys? Thank you for tuning in. We're here. We're live. We are good Beautiful to go. Las Vegas, Nevada. GTO headquarters out here. No, it's not working. Our man producer Drew setting up our stat screen for us. Drew's in. I like Drew run. Drew needs to be my agent. I've been making a lot more it, money. It's just on the on the test run right now. So we couldn't we could read these players' names, but you know. Yeah, we have think. like a uh, we have a a, 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 a the table right Lewis here. You know, what, listen, I'll post it on my I'll post it on my Instagram story <laughs> if you guys want to go see. You know, a little little CTA, a little call to action here. If you guys want to see what this looks like behind the scenes, go to my Instagram story. Pop B G T O. And you will get to see the beautiness that we work with back here. There's about we do have a fantastic one, setup two. here in the Triangle Studio at the Poker Go Studio. There's about ten lights in this bad boy. This oh, is yeah, this is intense. Least. Let me show people what we're working with here. Look, we got the screen right there. We have the play right there. We got all these lights right here. Yeah, we, we got, got my man Jeff right there. Backdrop. The beautiful backdrop right here. This is a beautiful yeah, great studio. Design. My God, I mean, it's just one part of it. Whew. Bam! I'm gonna post that up. When Vegas is back to normal, when we're opened up, we recommend that you stop by the Poker Go studio. Yeah, stop on by, man. It's usually open. Come by. Have a cocktail at the bar. Brent Hanks will buy. Just assume Brent is always here, so he'll always buy you a drink. Yeah, Brent Hanks loves buying people drinks. Nice guy. Yeah. Shout out to Brent. We got this man. We got his yeah, uh, face. We got his <laughs> face right here. It's a dream about his face. Beautiful face. Akuyo and Tao Star, chip leader. More than 110 big blinds. Then a drop off before fellow countryman Sammy Calipuro. There is the Brent Hanks masked face. Great looking guy. Popsicle stick. There he is. Look at this guy. I'm curious to see these guys mix it up here. See different strategies. See what we're working with. Just once again, we see that limp on the button here with the King 10 10 8. Perfectly fine hand to raise. Ace queen jack seven with diamonds for Blonde Williamson in the small mind. Aku, Aku says I'll raise it up so with Aku. the jack seven six yeah, five double Yeah, with the chip leader putting pressure on yeah. these guys. He knows they're gonna put these guys in a tough spot post flop. Obviously, none of these guys wants to bust out in fourth place. Ooh. King ten four. That is a set of tens for Espen Mirmo. Ooh. So Isolder has that wrap mm -hmm. in his hand. Aku does not hit the flop. Espen. Enjoys his hand. He also blocks the king, which is going to be one of the hands he's going to want his opponents to continue. So when a lot of money does go in here, most likely his opponents are going to have some sort of combination straight and flush draw and or one of the draws. Isildur 1 faces the half pot bet. Has a very easy call here. If the, if the turn's a club and it goes check, check, he could potentially think about bluffing the river. The turn is a club. Mm -hmm. So this is going to go check, check. And then on the river, he can uh, he's going to turn his hand. He's most likely going to turn his hand to a bluff with that jack blocker. Yeah. So this is what we're going to see right now. It's just a matter of what size he wants to choose. But he decides to check here. Interesting. And uh, surprised a little bit to see him check there. Now, the reason for maybe not bluffing there is that he would check raise his mm. nut flush draws on on the flop. Maybe. Not always. So I'm surprised he wouldn't consider bluffing there with that jack of clubs. Especially when Espen is going to be stabbing there. Maybe he's not stabbing there super wide on the flop when checked to, but I think he's stabbing there at least some decent frequency of a time. And at the same time, he is also checking back enough flushes in order to call the river too. And maybe he's thinking that the straight draw missed, so it won't look uh, won't look very credible. But I'm interested. To see, I, it is interesting that he wouldn't at least consider betting that river. Espen limps in here. Calls the raise from Sammy out of the big blind. It comes queen uh -oh. five four with two spades. Sammy flops the nut flush draw to go along with his queens. Yeah, so Espen has for a easy call here. Just call one straight. Try to make his straight. Ten of spades on the turn. Stone cold nuts for Sammy Kilburo. So now Lars Luzak online. Yeah, Lars does not want to have that king of spades. Ideally, you want to have an ace high flush here, not have the king of spades, so potentially your opponent can have the king high flush. Now he's just hoping that he gets called by some sort of two pair or some sort of flush. Fortunately, 
Miramont does not have it as takes and it takes it down. This is Sammy Kelopero's third cash of the series. He won event number 10 for $208,000. If nice. he wins this, he'll move into fourth place on the overall standings. He has 256 points going into today. Aku cool. has 252 points. Victor Blom has 228 points. With a win, he would also move into fourth. And this is Espen Miramo's first cash of the series. First time we've seen the Norwegian. Great hair. Great hair. Fantastic hair. So Lars is going to lead here with the top pair and Dutch Dot. No hearts in his hand. Takes it down. Shout out to everybody watching out there. Shout out to everybody on Twitter. Everybody on YouTube. Everybody on Twitch. Everybody on Twitch Party Poker Channel. Welcome to the Great Game. Pop How many more events we got, Jeff? I know we're streaming tomorrow on Sunday and we're doing on Monday, correct? Yeah. So after today, the quote-unquote preliminary events for this series are done. There are two 1K events that are running today. Event number 13, $10,000 buy-in, and event number 14, a $5,000 buy-in. So to go along with this final table, that wraps up the Poker Masters Online PLO series. We award our purple jacket. We award an entry into the main event, and we start coverage of that main event tomorrow. Okay. Got when it? We, it's going to be a little hard to follow. When are they getting uh, the jacket? I, I think tonight. You're going to be on call. We're going to call you up when we have a winner. And, and then what? you are going to you know, mail the jacket out there to somebody, maybe to, to Finland or to Sweden or to Norway. Am I going to send a, the jacket Hungary. by Wi-Fi? By, by wi yeah. Yeah. Okay. You send it maybe a okay. virtual presentation. Is that what's happening? Yeah, it makes absolutely no sense at all. Who came up with that idea? I don't know, man. <laughs> we're not perfect. Yeah, yeah. We're not perfect <laughs> around here, okay? We're 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 not this is, we're experimenting around here, okay? We're not perfect. Maybe during tomorrow's coverage, you and I will have more of an official ah, jacket that presentation. Makes, that makes yeah. some, that makes some sense. I like we'll that. highlight the winner. So we have a day one. We're gonna be streaming a day one. I to pick the table. So at Am I coming yes. in tomorrow? Am I going to be here? I, 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 Are we going to be on the I air tomorrow, we, Jeff? We'll, we'll check into that. Let's find this out. Plus, I know for sure that on Monday we'll have final table coverage right. of the But now event. we're streaming a day one. Are we taking a, a Sabbath day? Maybe maybe Sunday we go to church, something like that. I go pray. Maybe. Pray or you go on your own Pot Lemon Omaha Sunday tournament grind. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, listen, those things are brutal. Bust out with a good hand on so once again, Espen Limp. We're seeing a lot more limping here today, Jeff. We Especially have not seen from this. Espen. Yeah, we have He's not. He's limp multiple times. Yeah, we haven't seen this much these past few days. So Espen now has the gut shot. Just does an over pair. Decides two call, one straight. And Rivers is set, but the flushes get there. I expect us to go check, check. And it does. Not much value thinking about it. doesn't even want to value about three aces there. You're not really going to get called mm -hmm. by many hands if he has a straight, right? Maybe you fold that out, you turn it into a bluff sometimes. So most likely a flush isn't going to fold there. If you did make a big bet there, you'd essentially be turning your hand into a bluff because your hand looks like a straight draw or a flush draw. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that's like a new concept to people. They see hands and they go, well, should you value a better strong hand like that, like top set? I make top set on the river. It looks like my opponent might have two pairs. Should I bet there? But you're just really not getting called by much. That you beat. Here comes Victor. Three betting for most of it with the Kings. Queen 10, 9, 4, double suited for Akuyo and Tausta. He does make the call. 960K in the middle. It comes 9, 5, deuce. This is it. Top pair for Yo and Tausta. Blum's Kings are best. Is there a 2 2 2? Not much left here. There's the rest of it. There's the snap call from Aku. And here we go. Victor Blum all in and at risk. Turn card. Is the six of diamonds. That's a safe one for Blom. River card. Oh, oh, it's the ten. It's tens and nines for Akuyo and Tausta. And that does it for Isildur. Victor Blom out in fourth place for $45,000. The Just dagger like that, on yeah. the river. I, I mean, that's what happens, right? You make you get down with your stack sizes. You make that three bet with the King King 5-3, one suit. You look at the equities mm. pre-flop. You're not really even pushing that much equity. You do right. have the fold equity if he does fold there. But at the same time, you got to consider... Now, are we always three bet in that hand if we're getting all our money in with, with a 56% favorite? Is that what you want to do? Do you want to take another spot? Do you want to play passive? A few strategies you can consider there, but uh, unfortunately, that did not work out for Isildur. you got to win your all-ins in these pop and Omaha tournaments, and uh, he's limited in fourth place. Yeah, he'll add 45 points to his series, which means he'll need some kind of a showing in these final two events today to even have a shot 
at the purple jacket. Mm -hmm. Aces for Aku here. Yeah, those uh what do you what do you start that last hand with there? What do you have? About uh twenty big blinds? How many big blinds did he have there? He, so he three bet to what was it? Uh uh to four fifty. Pre flop? Yes. To four fifty? And he had 222K behind. So okay. Yeah, 23, 24 big blinds. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, three-handed, you might think you always need a three, but the king, king, five, three with one suit. You do have that fold equity. But as you saw, I mean, you know, you're not really putting yourself in that good of a spot for the most part when you when you do get called preflop just in terms of hot and cold equity. And oftentimes, your opponent's not going to be folding. Essentially, you're all in because you only have mm -hmm. to go all in for two, two, two more, and the pot's going to be 1.2 or something like that. So... Good time to take a look at the leaderboard. Our stats are back, Joey. The PFR, the VPIP, the CBET. Oh, yeah. The mysterious CBET. That, 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 that we're unsure what we're unsure what percentage. What, we're unsure what the CBET is, but we like we like having it percentage around. Percentage maybe after a raised pre. We're big, we're big CBET percentage guys yeah, around. Absolutely. We like CBET. So King 10 10 8 fold in the button. Interesting mm -hmm. fold. Very tight fold by Lars Luzak. I feel like that's what we've seen throughout the week is the chip leader is always aggressive and then everybody else plays pretty tight. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I mean, he's got, yeah, yeah. So here we got some deep stacks, 40 big blinds. Yeah. And uh, for our short stack, Espen, who's been playing it pretty well. He's been ninja styling it up here with the limping. Limping in like it's 2004 Poker Stars. <laughs> <laughs> you know how those games used to be real limp heavy. It's cool. about a $63,000 difference between third place and second. All three of these players guaranteed $65,000. I see him. I see him. Oh, boy. Oof. Wow, Poker hard. This is Jeff. Top this is set for Sammy along with the nut flush draw. That's what you call it. nine, nine, hot, nine poker hard right <laughs> here, man. Top set with the nut flush draw, redraw. I mean, this is an amazing, Oof. amazing board. You might even consider checking this back, Jeff. Hoping your opponent catches up a little bit. But most players. Here. Yeah. Most players are going to usually include the, top, the the nuts with the nut redraw in their uh, continuation betting range. And fortunately for him, Aku does not have mm. much. So, yeah, we've seen the chip leader, as you said, play very aggressive, getting in a lot of hands, putting a lot of pressure on the other opponents, and the other opponents are playing more passive. These guys have a little bit stack to play with, so I expect them to not be as passive as as maybe if they were on the short stack and they were preserving that, that, that nine big blind or 12 big blind stack. Aku! Aku's name having my name in it's really tripping me out. Oh, yeah, Joe. I've never seen Joe yeah, in, in a last know, name. That's strange. Joe and Tausta. Hmm. Yeah, so same. I'm trying to think. You, can you, have you, can you, no, I mean, I've it. never seen a last name with Joe in it. No. Joe Mama, something like that, maybe. I don't know. It's <laughs> <I don't laughs> too a common name? of a last name. Oh, okay. I don't know. More like a joke you used to make yeah, back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Lars, queen, 10, nine, three, double suited here. Beautiful double suited hand. You'd like to have a better connected card instead of three. You'd like to have a queen, nine, 10, jack. More more connectivity, more possibilities, more fun. But on the button, three-handed. It's a beautiful hand you're going to be opening up here. Raise and take it for him. Welcome in to all of our viewers. Say hello, hi in the chat. Let us hello. know where you are watching How's us Twitch from. going? Anybody watching us on so Twitch? So I, I, we're not on Twitch right now. Unless we just started on Twitch, but no, offline. We're, what a disaster. So we're supposed to be How on Twitch. How do I get involved Twitch? in this operation? What a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sakes, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Ace King Jack 9 for Aku, the three vet. The 300. They promote it. They they, the time they do promote it, where it's going to be, it's not on there. It makes sense. Right. I, I mean, mean, I'm on twitch.tv slash party poker TV. I <sighs> could be a mirror. I could be on the wrong. Channel, but I think I don't think we're right. Aye, aye, aye. Hello to Mark, to Henry, aye, fish aye, cakes aye. to Matthew McGee in the YouTube chat. King ten nine eight double suited. Should we ban husband. stables, Jeff? Should we, flops should we ban stables? Uh, I think we got to get these stable. stables. Should we ban them? I, think, well, I don't we know how you're going to do that. We might see some slightly lower tournament guarantees if that's yeah, the case. Yeah. <laughs> I love the poker world. It's so fun. People take, it, people take it so serious, Lowe's. They, they, oh, they, they oh, get yeah, it real yeah. serious. So it's kind of – I just look at the humor and all. It's, it's pretty uh, humorous, humoristic industry. You tweet things knowing what the reaction – Not really. I never really know. I don't okay. know, man. I, listen, I don't you tweet. Knowing that there is going to be a reaction, I should have Sometimes. Said. Yeah. Not really. No one cares about this shit, man. People just <laughs> care about the hands. No one really <laughs> cares about the business side of poker yeah. because – most people that are involved in the poker world aren't making money money anyway. They're, they're just play for fun or they think yeah. they're good. They're not really winning. So the majority of people who would be interested in the business discussion are, are mainly spending their time on business. They're not spending their time on Twitter. 
and they message me privately. They don't. They're not going to respond in the actual thread itself. Oh, so sure, sure, sure. Yeah, it's more like you put a message out there to people who who want to get in touch with you and have a discussion about it. Really, it's a good way to get it out there for people to see it. So, so I'm better trying to figure out Jeff trying to figure out this whole poker world thing. Right now. Good luck. <laughs> well, I got to figure it out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's called. I'd say you more than most people have it's called it it's more called, figured out. Yeah. I mean, it's a fun world. I think it's fun. Yeah, a lot I of agree. people, if they if they knew like all this stuff, they'd be like, "Oh, it's a little out of line." But I think, <laughs> you know, that's poker and things. Like yeah, that. That's true. You know what I mean? A little bit of limpy, limpy here. Aku. Aku makes the min bet on the flop. Sammy has has queen with the blockers. Could exercise his right to put aggression on his opponent with the blockers. We'll fire about eighty-eight thousand. Maybe fold his opponent off for draw, weaker one pair hand that has some equity to make two pair. Also, maybe folds an ace. That's bet by him. Sammy Calipero, Lars Luzak online finished in second place in the twenty eleven World Series of Poker ten K P L O Championship. Oh, uh, great game! I told listen, I've been telling World Series of Poker they should make the ten K Pot Limited Championship. They should call it the P L O Main Event. Right, right. Why, Why would we not you, yeah. call it the Pot Limited Main Event? You have the Nolan Hold Main Event, right? You hype that up. It's yep. great. Bill Hummy's yep. coming in on on on, on freaking someone's <laughs> right. someone's like. Uh, has him on his shoulders. He's like yeah, Thor beautiful. or something like that. He's on throne. Dude, Helmut is a legend. I love that guy. I don't care what anybody says. I, I know he's kind of mean to people I, at the I'm table. I love this guy. Absolutely with you. I've been watching him on there, man. I mean, he has some of the most incredible performance art poker related stuff I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. You know, I mean, listen, is he really like stressed out about what 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 Jimbo in 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 the Florida basement's talking about him? I mean, probably. <laughs> may, may probably is actually. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. But I hope not, man. All right, Espen here. Check calls with that queen high flush draw. And the queen turns the two pair. Aku turns the wrap there. That's a power wrap right there, Jeff. Yeah. Power wrap. When you got all the bad boy cards. That's 266,000. Actually, a power wrap might be different here. Espen makes the call. River card oh, is the three. The that straight wrap. draw does get there. A stone cold nuts for Aku, Yu, and Tausta. Espen going to be in a spot here. His hand looks like a draw, looks like a flush draw, looks like a straight draw. And uh, he does have that marginal two pair. Blocks the diamonds, which you want your opponent to have. He blocks the tens, which is a hand you want your opponent to have. You want your hand, your opponent to have a hand like 10 jack here or a flush draw. We have the worst blockers here. And unfortunately, I think Espen's going to have to lay this one down. He's not going to be happy about it as played, especially once that turn card comes in. That is 605,000. If you, another pot in the direction if you're going to consider calling there, you want to have no diamonds. You want to have no tens. You want to have a five or a six in your hand mm. for when you start thinking about what hands to call with there. All three of these players guaranteed $65,000. Second place worth almost 128 k Our first nice. place prize, $200,000. You go. saw Victor Baum eliminated in fourth to start our broadcast late yesterday. It was Henrik Elde. Look at that beautiful shot. It's great. Great. I think it's a great. That's, that's a great a payout graphic. Right yeah, that looks really God. cool. What kind of guy? And what kind of great guy came up with that shot? Nicholas right Aztec Ooh. eliminated in sixth. Great shot. That, that, Unbelievable. That, yeah. Some good work right there. Some good work from our Poker Central production crew. I like those guys. I if I get in a budget one day, I gotta bring these guys with yeah, me. Yeah, for, like, for like, sure. Yeah. Don't steal them from us. I mean, no. I mean, listen, those guys. Side. Those guys. I, <laughs> About 35 years from away from that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start a student loan business, Jeff, and may maybe I'll be able to do something like that. Okay. Queens and sevens for Aspen. Top two for him. Three, 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 three. Oh, that's a good, that's a good sign. It's going to be a good day, Jeff. Okay. It's going to be a good day. Okay, I'm, I'm with that. So, uh, so Aspen, just check calls here. People might be saying he's got top two. Does he want to check race here? But he does check call. The skies is the strength of his hand. Is going to induce some some uh, more bets out of his opponent. But that's what happens is you give your opponent a hand just to realize that equity. Check back the turn once you do check call there, and he gets to see a free river. So I think other players may have chosen to check raise there. He's playing a lot more passive style here. Espen leads for 70K. Aku lays it down. Look at our leaderboard with Aku Yoantausta commanding chip lead more than 4.1 Million in chips. Sammy Calipuro in second. Espen Mirmo C bet in third. Still, okay. That pre-flop race percentage for Aku. 
see that hundred. I I can only have a professional like Rob Young tell me what that sleeve percentage <laughs> means because Rob Young is the get Rob on the horn. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm curious about his pot Minimal tournament knowledge. He thinks he's a pot Minimal god, so I'd love to see him. Rob, can, him Rob certainly mixes it up in some high stakes I'm, PLO. Me and him are gonna play a challenge. Oh, I'm challenging nice. all the site owners: Phil Nagy, <laughs> Phil Galfond, Rob Young, uh, David Bazoff, even though he's not the not the technically <laughs> right, the owner right, of Poker right. anymore. BlackRock. Who, who's who's the hedge fund that they got money that Bazoff got money from? Who did, who did he get money from? I don't know who the I've been real deep in deep in these streets. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the it's probably BlackRock. Set of eights for Aku. Straight draw and flush draw for Sammy Kilgore. Blackstone, of course, it's Blackstone. This guy's oh, Blackstone. Blackstone is yeah. All these guys are involved in everything. They own all the all the gr great industries down. So uh, cool. Blackstone has been active on the Las Vegas Strip over the last couple years or so. Not surprised to see that, Joe. Mm -mm. A coup with the check raised to four hundred thousand. Yeah, Lars, Lars is not happy right now. He's <laughs> got that double gutter, has the flush draw, could have happily checked back the turn to potentially realize his equity, and now he's facing a pretty little spot here. When you get check raised here, your opponent's telling him you have a set, two pair, maybe some combination draw. So your draw, if you get a six, your opponent might have the nine ten. Heart comes, not a very good flush for your hand. Lars has to fold that down. He's not going to be happy. You never want to have to bet fold that kind of hand on a turn, especially double gutter. Or uh, Wisco Baron in the YouTube chat says, I came to watch Isildur, and he was knocked out in the first 10 minutes two days in a row. The same thing did happen yesterday you know in what? our 25K buy with three players left. It was Victor Blanc busting yeah. a third boom right off the bat. Unfortunately, if you would have seen it down from six-handed, we would have seen him play, but we didn't. So there you go. That's true. Don't worry. Could see him throughout. The next Potlin Omaha series. We're watching him from six-handed. I'm telling you that right now. Okay. Joey's Potlin Omaha series. Joey's great game of Pops in Omaha game. series, man. Invitational event, 500K buy in for the top for the main event. Might not run, but hey. It's okay. <laughs> and all the events are invite only or just the No, main? no, we're going to have just one invite only. Okay. An invitational, Jeff. You're invited. You can play. Uh, probably pass, but I'd be happy to watch. I got a flight for you out of the country if you need it. It's fine. Okay. I'm putting you in. Free roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great investment to put me in we're a 500K you're, PLO. Well, not, you're not playing the 500K. Oh, okay. You're going to play some of the other events. Play so some of the smaller events? Yeah, okay. we need you in. You stream them, we'll get you in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need you in it. Eight's full for Espen. You know who's not invited? Elis Parson in. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Elis. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's He's a, Elis, my Elis invited. It's twice like, in a row. I where like Elis. Elis is not coming to the 500K invite only tournament. Yeah, he's a sick guy. No, he can come. I like him. He's a cool kid. Hardworking guy, man. You got to reward these hardworking guys. He was Parson and currently third in the Who's Poker first? Masters. Who's first? Gavs is first, right? Gavs is in second. Gavin Cochran in second. No, no, don't, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Andreas. Yeah, Andreas. Yeah, 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 that guy, yeah. he's been he's in He's in first man. with three wins. Jens Kulinen is in fourth. Ben Sonnert is in fifth. They are our other two-time winners. Like a lot of those guys, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get a few of those guys on the podcast coming up here. Yeah. Ben, I know Ben. We're gonna, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to do one. And... Uh, I want to see what, what Gene's been up to, man. I want to see, because last I talked to him, uh, he was. <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> Shout out to Gene's. Shout out to Gene's. You won event number three for 212K and, and event number seven yeah. for $200,000. Running, running like the fastest yeah. runner we've ever. Running like Usain Bolt circa peak Olympic performance kind of style, <laughs> too, right? He's a great player. So Espen here has the five with the uh, – oh, hits straight. Interesting, yeah. It's the wheel for Espen. Mm -hmm. Aku with that flush draw. He's got the underground tunnel there with that, that, that weaker wrap. Now Espen here – I'm sorry, Aku. Could check back here. Could bet again. Does gonna bet be able, again, bets pot. He's going to be able to put a lot of pressure on his opponent unless his opponent has a deuce right, three. Has, I mean, yeah. When the opponent has deuce three, right, you know, it's uh, – but Espen check calls here. Interesting, okay. Oh, nine on the river. The set of nines for Aku. This is going to be trouble. So Aku has oh to think he's got my. the best hand. Espen slow plays his hand on the turn, really playing it safe here. He knows if he check raises there and gets called. Are some bad rivers, but also his hand is super disguised right now. And and and, and he has to be Aku as hard as it gets pot. right now. Poker, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's excited right now. He's saying, oh, my God, this guy really has it. 
There is the check raise for all of the chips. Aku with the snap and fold. The quick fold from Aku, you own Tausta with the set of nines. Wow. I mean, his opponent's telling Think him about it at nuts. least a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, holy Excellent moly. Excellent lay down. What the? And he folds in the, the ace five. What is happening in this, Jeff? Did he pick up the same hand? Do we have here too? here? Like, what's happening? Nine, nine, eight, seven with hearts. Man. They're going to snap fold the, the, the third nuts. Fourth nuts Fourth there. Fourth nuts, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. He really wants to. Wow. Wow. Wow, indeed. Ooh. I mean, I get it. Uh, yeah, I guess. And then Espen just folds the ace, five, three, on the button. doesn't even think about limping the hand. I mean, what's happening here? Espen oh, he had ace, five, three, deuce again? Yeah. Oh, maybe this is. You think we have a, a maybe. An it'd be error weird. here? It'd be weird for both of them in PLO to get the exact same hand back to back, right? That's true. Maybe so we we'll got sort error. this one out. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break. Ah, we're okay. going to figure this out. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Thank you all for watching the Poker Masters Online PLO series. Stay with us.
Okay, welcome back. We <laughs> apologize for the brief technical difficulties. Let's get we after back. it, man. We are Let's good to go. It. We are three-handed for the title of event number 11, <laughs> $10,000 buy-in. It is the great game of Pot Limit Omaha, $200,000 up top in this one. Down to our final three, Aku Yoantausta, fellow countryman Sammy Kalapuro, and the Norwegian Espen Mirmo. Let's go, Espen. Represent your country, buddy. We got Norway. We got Finland. We got Finland in the mix. Do it for Odd Odson, okay? Do it for Skedvoy. Mm. Represent your country, buddy. 10, 10, 4, flush draws what for the, both. What about the Nor What about the, the, the Scandinavian Pot Limit Omaha Championships where I just get all the top players from Scandinavia in the mix? I mean, it seems like that's what the series. Poker Masters has been. <laughs> No, let's not disrespect. <laughs> let's not disrespect Jonathan Depo like that, okay? Okay, right. What are you talking about? And Andras Nemeth, who is our it's leader. Not just from Hungary. Andras Nemeth. Exactly. What about Marcelo? None Marcello of y'all are playing. Mariano. None of you guys are playing the Scandinavian Pot Limit Championship. <laughs> by the way, my man is a drone. Along, along those lines, a uh, good question in the chat from Wisco Baron uh, says, "Excuse the ignorance. No, fire off your no, questions. It will. Give me them. Uh, why so many Danish and Finnish in this series, but few Americans? Although I saw." Jake Schindler, is it a Wis conflict with WSOP online or a steep buy-in? Wisco, I'm going to answer that question okay. for you. It's that the Americans that would play are stuck in America right now because there's a thing mm. called the coronavirus going on out there. It's a pandemic. And now the way around that, those players are not willing to put their lives on the line to risk doing anything like that. So that's why we're not seeing those players because a lot of those people are stuck in America. We saw a decent amount of Americans make the trip to play the uh, Super High Roller Bowl online series. Did they? Yeah. Interesting. Plus, a lot of Americans uh, aren't necessarily uh, as good at Pot Limit Omaha right now in terms of playing against the best players. These guys yeah. play uh, against other great players all the time for the past bunch of years, and a lot of Americans haven't necessarily been doing that. A lot of Americans that stuck in America realize that it's better off to just play in some of these private game sites, and the competition is not as good, which means that your skill level decreases a little bit because you're playing sure. against bad players. So you're just thinking out, how do I exploit these guys for the maximum amount? Whereas these guys are playing against other great players constantly. So they're building strategies to battle other really great players and really working on the finer details of their strategy. So once you put these guys in the, uh, in the same place, right, it, it might, be, uh, might be outclassed a little bit, the Americans. But at the same time, I also think there's a lot of Americans that are here. And we haven't seen – we've seen some uh, – We've seen some North American guys in these. They just haven't been able to make it to the yeah. final table. Yeah, we, we've seen uh, – you mentioned Jonathan Deppa's name. We saw Jake Schindler in the mix. Dan Shack has been buying a couple Dan of these. Dan Shack. That guy must have an interesting story. I bet that guy thinks has some crazy stuff happening in New York City. Oh, yeah, no question about that. Love that guy. And as far as coverage is concerned for tomorrow, Joe, you got the update do we there. Have, do we have it? We do. What we are we have doing? Day one, Kay. main event coverage – of the Poker Masters Online PLO series, that is a fifty thousand dollar buy-in, one point five million dollar guarantee. We will start our coverage after registration closes. After our tables are set, are good to go. We'll cover the last five levels of the day. That starts seven thirty p.m. Eastern, four thirty p.m. Pacific. Wait, what time tomorrow? What time am I coming? I thought I was coming at noon. No, don't come in. I mean, you can come in at noon if you want. So now Just I'm coming I, I at won't be four thirty. Four thirty. I mean, preferably a little bit before, but yes. Okay. 4.30 p.m. Pacific time this start. This communication's out of line. 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Good to go. The last five levels line. of the Poker Masters Online PLO Series main event, the 50K buy-in. And Joey and I will virtually Monday, present. Then? What time is that on Monday? Now that I'm confused. I think Monday will be back to 12 p.m. Okay, Pacific I'm just time to figure it out. for the final table. Okay, I'm just stepping ahead a little bit. I'm trying to figure it out. I believe so. Okay. We'll have a virtual presentation of the purple jacket. And by that, I mean we'll probably just say congratulations to this guy. Are Here's we going to call did. the guy up? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> you think that's so, huh? Yeah, hey, I, like uh, I got you. You want your purple oh, jacket? Yeah. Let me yeah, get you yeah, out of yeah, here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. I got to mess up a little bit. I so fine. Shout out to Wisco Baron. What Wisco Baron's question? What do you, oh, he asked about the American question, right? Mm -hmm. He says, I know, you know that you can't play from the U.S., but others go to Mexico or to Canada. For big events. Well, I don't think we're allowed in Canada right now. Sure. Like sure. By, by law. Speaking just they don't in let general. You. Right. Yeah. Well, it generally matters for this specific, specific situation sure. right now. Plus, there's a chance if you leave the country, you might not be able to get back in. Very possible. They're treating America like America's treated the rest of the world. <laughs> create a problem. Create a solution. Profit. Mm-hmm. Welcome. These three players guaranteed $65,000. It's 
Got a 63K pay jump from third to second. First place prize of $200,000. I want to be a pr I want to work on a presidential campaign as, as one of their marketer and brand people and content people. I want to I want to work on Andrew Yang's next next presidential okay. campaign. I really do. Assuming that we have another presidential vote, Jeff, what do you think about that theory? Do you think that we will this will be the last president of the United States this next election? Uh, I do believe we will have an you election. So? I'd be yeah. willing to bet that I'd be willing to bet that this what will be kind the last of odds president. Would you need? I'd be willing to bet. I don't know. I have to check the odds online, but I'm going to ask for a really good price and we can negotiate it down though. Okay, okay. <laughs> you start here, I start here. We know we're going to end up here. Welcome to the prop betting world. Yep. Welcome to our leaderboard for event number 11. Akuyu and Tausta, our chip leader, more than 3.6 million in chips. That is more than 120 big blinds. In fact, his chip stack is really exactly what Espen Miramo and Sammy Kalapuro have combined. 200K up top in this one. This is Aku's sixth <laughs> cash of the series. That is the most number of caches by anyone. Has a third place finish, three fourth place finishes, and a seventh place. All those good for more than 300K in earnings. <laughs> he's on his second bullet in this one, so he's in for 20K. <laughs> Up to two re entries allowed for the first eight Rob, levels. Rob, I'm having so much tournament. fun. Happy to be here. Happy to be talking about the great game. This, this, this Doing commentary right here is probably going to make me a million dollars. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, at Pop Mom Tournaments. This is like the start yeah. of something beautiful right here. Because oh, I know no one else is really watching these things. Nobody's going to sit down and pay attention, close attention to the strategies here. Mm -hmm. Like we have and to. And you've been seeing the best in the world. Just this is like battle high stakes tournaments. This is honestly amazing. I can't, yeah. I, can't, I can't stress this enough. This is great. That's cool. This is really good stuff. Jacks and threes for Sammy. Fives and threes for Espen. So Espen's just gonna call here with the bottom two pair. Or or, or a strange guy here. Okay. Raises so he's gonna, it up. Wow, he's gonna exert his pressure. Interesting. Sammy okay. snap folds. I mean, normally I think the standard there would be to call with the bottom two. It's not a very good hand, and you don't really want to see many turn cards in Jack's Jack five three. He has been playing pretty tight, so Sammy sure. snap folds the top and bottom pair. Okay, that German two pair. Shout out Fader Holes. I mean Fader got a podcast coming up here soon. I'm excited oh, about nice. having him on. The young prince. The young prince. The young prince. Moving and grooving. He eight seven four double C. See, that's been a strange guy, right? Just, just a ra he yeah. ra he turns the five three into the bluff there, and now he just calls with the double suited, the power kings, the beautiful double suited kings, the beautiful hand right there, real beautiful hand. Most players, I mean, I don't think anyone else we've seen so far would have just called there, even with these. I mean, mm -hmm. those kings are good. Open ender for Sammy along with the backdoor flush draw. Espen will lead for 143,000, and Samuel just lay Samuel down. Samuel just full. He does have the, uh, does get that underground. He's got an underground straight draw there with the, uh, not, not a very good straight draw. It's underground straight draw just like the bottom end of the. Yeah, 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 underground, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That underground tunnel got when you got the, when you got the lower wrap. Yeah, gotcha. Well, sometimes you make it through that tunnel, right? You don't get a, you don't get shot, you don't get killed. You don't make your straight. <sighs> and, uh, or you, you know, do, and it's that. good. Exactly. Sometimes, yeah, like that, eight, like that ace, right? That's that's the rare time when you hit, when you make it through the tunnel and you make the nut straight. But it's like a congested tunnel. It's like New York City. Yeah, it's during packed. rush hour. Yeah, it's a real packed tunnel. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you get through though. You know what I mean, right? Of course. Yeah, you get me. Jeff gets what I'm saying. Of course. He's a god. Sammy Kelpro started at the 25 cent, 50 cent ranks. Moved all the way up to the highest of PLO stakes. I want to get a house with the, fin the finish guys. A grind house. Oh, yeah. I haven't had a grind house since I was. You, Aku, Sammy, Elis Parsonen. Yeah, I need Elis to be in Jens. there. Jens. Jens is probably, he's a little, I think he's past gr grind house. Oh, he's, he's probably yeah, out of I'm not sure. Probably Semi retired. He's probably. Probably still with this girl and uh, their oh, probably, okay, you know, okay, family okay. life and stuff like that. You yeah. get old at one point in time, you know. Jeans and el eligible bachelor, you know, those Finnish ladies are, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. You see that hair. They're in. They're in. 25K pop on the bracelet winner. That's right. We need to go on a date. That's what they say. Do they usually know that he's the 25K <laughs> You don't think he's telling them that? You don't think he's telling them on his Tinder profile? <laughs> On the jeans, Tinder profile. You could hide in a little bracelet, like winner ceremony yeah. picture. I think. I think so. Maybe picture number four or five. You know, don't lead with it. It might come across as too. 
Uh, too arrogant. You got some experience with this chef? It sounds like you've thought about this <laughs> a lot. Like, <laughs> Wait, which picture should go first? Okay, that's Just like, am I using the World Series right commentary? Right, am I right, using right, the right. Poker <laughs> Masters commentary? What commentary am I going to use as my third and photo I can't on Tinder? lead off with it, but, you know. Yeah. Are you gonna, do you want to show Strategy. us your profile? Right. Oh, what's happening? Absolutely here? not, no. Okay, man. Interesting. Thank you for the offer. No problem. I want to <laughs> see it. <laughs> Bottom two here for Aku and uh, gut shot backdoor flush draw here. What's he looking at? What's Lars Luz What's Lars was like looking at yeah, here? He's, he's like looking up at something. Like looking up at us? Distracting. I mean, I don't think so. He's looking up at you here or something. Yeah. Like what's he looking at? Here? He kind of is looking at you though. I mean, it looks like. He's Seems like it. Yeah. Aku's just gonna. Do you see any uh, Christian Harder in Sammy Kofar? A little bit, yeah. yeah. My man Charter, the Massage King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. <laughs> My man Charter. What's up, Charter? So Lars might turn this into a bluffer on the river. He does have showdown with the Jack, so he decides not to, and Aku's going to be able to win this one. No one's happy about that hand at all. <laughs> Could have went differently. I think uh, Aku plays that fine. Check call flop. Check, check turn. Check river. Hope to get the showdown. He gets the showdown. He does take it down. Lars beats some nines in the river. Could decide to bluff that river, but maybe over bluffing with that hand. Thank you all for joining us on both Poker Go's Facebook page on Poker Central's YouTube channel. Be sure to click like, click subscribe to that YouTube channel, click follow on Facebook, all that good stuff. Yes. Yes. yes Call to action. CTA. Mm -hmm. So Lars has the over pair here. With that top pair, two backdoor quad draws, one backdoor flush draw, one backdoor straight draw. Espen has the gut shot. To the nut straight with the backdoor club draw. Puts Lars in a tough spot. And Lars is going to lay it down. So in cash games, I mean, these hands play so much different. I'm because, sure, yeah. like, you, you call at least one straight there with the jack-jack 7-5. You're just not going to be folding that hand. Yeah, you're, you're going to call at least one. I mean, it's never a slam dunk call because there are a lot of bad turn cards. And you're really hoping for one, one uh, a few specific turn cards to continue there. And it's never put you in a good spot. So maybe there's some merit to fold and laying it down and, and picking a better hand. And now Lars, you can see, is raising up the king jack nine four on the button. He's not going with that limping strategy. Here's the three bet from Aku with the ace queen jack jack with clubs. Yeah, Aku puts a lot of pressure on him here. Lars can't really continue here very light. He does have to preserve those 30 big blinds here, and he does lay it down. We have two one-day events going on right now. One at the 10K price point, one at the 5K. And in a in the 10K, our chip leader, uh -oh. I haven't seen him yet uh -oh. throughout this series. Uh -oh. You're going to recognize the name. Uh -oh. It is... What do we got? Patrick Antonius. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello. No way. Yes, PA sir. He took a break from his workouts, man. He's always yeah, posting on right. shirtless workouts on Instagram. The guy, the guy loves working out, man. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> loves staying in shape. That's a fit guy right there. Yeah, yeah to say the least. Man. Patrick Antonius, my right. God. The ladies are getting, getting turned on about <laughs> yeah, PA, so man. <laughs> so in this one, that Victor man. Baum's in that one. Isaac Haxton. Hollywood. The stars are out. Hollywood Haxton. Patrick Antonius. Oof. We need to get Phil Ivey in these games, man. We should. We're seeing some real tight play here overall here today, yeah. Jeff. Very tight play. Much tighter than what we've seen these past few days. Maybe they're adjusting. Maybe that's the adjustment. Wait for more top of range instead of getting in these marginal spots. There's the chip lead for Aku. Still has now more than Espen Mirmo and Sammy Kalapuro combined. We started off coverage today with the elimination of Victor Baum. Isildur out in fourth place for $45,000. This was Isildur's fourth cash of the series. This is Aku Yontausta's sixth. Sammy's third, the first time we've seen Espen Mirmo here. Sammy firing both of the one days as well. So is Andrash Nemeth. Nice. Who yesterday became a three-time winner Just in three, this huh? series. Three three wins through 12 events. He won event number 12 for $100,000, beating Andrew Pantling heads up. I love that guy. That's the one guy I've taken away I want to have in my podcast from this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you could pick one out of the entire field, you would go Pantling? Someone I haven't had on Patling, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think Patling. Yeah, new like guest. Okay. Yeah. Guy seems really interesting to me. So Lars here is going to check his flush on the river. And Espen checks back, does not value bet the nine. 
Maybe he doesn't think he's going to get called by worse there. Interesting, interesting plays happening here, Jeff. Interesting plays happening here. I mean, I think maybe you could consider betting there. There are some misdraws you might have. You can get called by trip tens. Very surprised to see he would not value about that river. Espen's playing a different strategy today than we've seen so far. Lars deciding not to bet there. Maybe thinks he doesn't get called by a worse flush. Wants to give his, his opponent a chance to, to potentially bluff. Frank in the YouTube chat asked if this is live. We are effectively live. We're operating on a one-hour delay to protect the integrity of the, the game. We do not want any scandals around here, Jeff. No, I do, do not, not. want to do... I do not want to do a bunch of investigations on this. You know on something I mean. that you're commentating. Yeah, you don't want to be. That'd be great. All right. Watch me now. I'm commentating. <laughs> yeah. Did I know do something? Do I know? <laughs> do I, did I, am I knowing what's happening right now? Am I oblivious? I'm watching it. Am I oblivious? But when I look I back, it good. seems so obvious. Hmm. I do think you are good. Hmm. <sighs> Another pot for Aku. You and Tausto can move into the top four. With a win in event number 11. But I'm ready to retire. Still Jeff. have some work to do. That's it. You're ready. To, you're ready to call it. I don't want to do any more investigations into crazy stuff anymore. Aku would still be about 150 points back of Andras Nemeth. I don't get this point system, Jeff. I'm going to be honest with so you. So I don't is, get it. That is a, I'm glad that you brought that up because I, I probably haven't done a great job of explaining it. For the 10K buy ins, you receive one point for every $1,000 earned. So today's winner. Receives two hundred thousand dollars and two hundred points. Simple, right? Okay. For the five K buy-ins, you receive one point five points for every thousand dollars earned. So let's say you won a five K for two hundred thousand. That's three hundred points. So you okay. win more points for the five K. Yes. Than the ten K. Yes, but the prize pools are smaller, so your payouts are going to be smaller. Okay. And then in the twenty-five K buy-ins. You receive <laughs> zero point six points for every one thousand dollars that you earn. Who came up? So with if this? you earn one thousand one hundred thousand dollars, you they get sixty a, points. They weren't a poker player, right? Who came up with this? I don't know who did this uh, system. Okay, I gotta have a question with these guys. Okay, I love these systems. They're like, let's make these the hardest we can possibly <laughs> make it to understand. Like I'm going through the GG World Series of Poker thing. I'm like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? None of these oh, things. Oh, is that out? None yeah, of these things make. The they're like, it's the like, there's like, a, there's like a percentage or something, yeah. an R in there or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's did, happening. You in know there. what? I did see the R. Like, what are you guys like, what, talking what, what about, RB? man? Like, yeah. let's make this as convoluted. No wonder right, we, right, we had right, a discrepancy right, right. last year and we didn't know who actually won the, the <laughs> right, player of the year. I mean, <laughs> it's a little complicated. What's happening here in the poker world right now, man? I think poker stars would have an issue like that. I don't think so. Shout out to poker stars. I'm going to work for poker stars, man. Those guys seem like they know what's going on. Sammy raises it up on the button with the King King nine four with diamonds. Who calls with Queen eight eight six and flops a set of eights? Poker stars will put on an event and when when talk about it. I mean, come on, what's happening here? <laughs> I can't believe this stuff. Goes check check four on the turn. Who said is best? I like Aku's chances today. A lead for one hundred eighty-eight thousand. So Lars does have that two pair. Not loving it. Doesn't have much uh, playability uh, on later streets. So I think he's going to have to lay this one down. We've seen him lay it down in these spots, but he does, does call, call here. I mean, very interesting, interesting play. Oh, the river is a four. Full house versus full house. Aku's with Should is the down, better buddy. one. <laughs> yeah, that. Should lay it down, buddy. And he'll lead for <laughs> 400,000. Yeah, he's thinking about raising or, or uh, calling here. He'll just call. He will call, so he keeps his tournament life. I mean, the logic is he's not going to get called by worse than mm -hmm. that river. So, A Brutal river indeed for Sammy Calipuro. Now down to about 10 bigs. Interesting play happening in this tournament, Jeff. Interesting play, yeah. interesting rain patterns, range of construction. Queen, queen nine with diamonds raises to 120k. Kelpro will call with 329k behind and flops a set of tens. That's why you don't raise with the eight four there. <laughs> 1500 IQ or nine four. He'll get the chips in here. Backdoor quad draw, backdoor straight draw, backdoor and a flush draw for Aku. He's been running well. Let's see if he can hit Not it, Jeff. Sure. For right now, looking for a queen a eight card. on the turn, uh -huh. straight draw for Aku. River card Ooh, is does not four, hit. so it is a double up for Sammy Kelpro. Just alive. like that, largely Zach online. Win Back some, lose some. Yeah. Win some, lose some, Jeff. 
That's how it goes in the pot limit tournament. You get down that short stack, got about 10 big blinds left. Make the top set, get it in, double up. Aku played it as fine. He has full equity on that flop. He knows Lars is going to be calling with. What's that jacket in the back? What is that? Has that always been there? No, no, I was just thinking that. That is the beautiful, the covenant that, purple that, jacket. Who right, that right. Oh, that's fantastic. Bring it out. Who brought it out? Where'd the jacket come from? I that got questions. That is fantastic. My God, look at that jacket. I'd be wearing that every YouTube video I made. You should wear the purple yeah, jacket constantly. Of course. It'd be my thing. So we got bottom set here, and we got a wrap for Lars. So he plays it. Could check call. Could check raise. I expect him to do two. Uh, I don't know what. I don't really know what to expect here from this from these guys anymore. <laughs> They're making some interesting plays. I would think he would just check call here, but he does have the full equity to take advantage of. But does check raise. You can never go wrong check raising the wrap. Espen with the set of fives. Says, let's get the chips in. He's yelling for him. Sammy says, okay, with the wrap. And here we go. Sammy Calipuro all in and at risk again. A slight underdog here. Ten of diamonds on the turn. Does pick up a flush draw. It's all the straight outs in the world. It's 50-50 to the wow. river. The river <laughs> is an absolute wow, blank. It is the deuce of spades. Sammy misses all of his outs, and Sammy Calipuro eliminated in third four. $65,000. Good game to the fin. How did he miss? I don't know, I don't know about the that play. The deuce of spades. Yeah, not river. the flop there. When you If you do end up getting all in there, you're going to be against pretty strong hands, maybe mm -hmm. better straight draws as well, too. He might think he has more full equity because Espen's been playing a little bit tighter, so I understand. But maybe just think about check call in there, even with that kind of strong hand. But he decides to go with it, and now we're heads up for the title. Aku, can Aku do it? With $200,000 up top, with 200 points in the race for the Poker Masters Online PLO Series Championship. Can Espen do it? Can Espen do it? Can his first Can cash be it? a win? It might be. Maybe well, Aku's get... sixth cash may be a win. We got to get him in the, him in the main event, Aku, out, or, uh, for Espen. I'm a, what are you selling, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> he might just jump in the mix. You got he you. This. You win one of these events, you got to hop in the main yeah, event. Yeah, I think so. You listen, all you do is message your friends. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, like selling, <laughs> selling 80. Dun, dun, good, dun. Good, good. I'm putting in 10. You're giving me 40. Ba, 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 bam. <laughs> Maybe a little 1.2 markup. Maybe I listen. <laughs> that main event starts tomorrow. Bro, these tournaments. $51,000 buy it. These tournaments. Players, I mean, some of these guys must be just like printing on, on markup for people because they might say, like, oh, I'm going to sell 70% and they end up making a profit mm -hmm. on top of their buying so they never actually have to put up any money. What a Fugazi. My gosh. Mm. What a hustle. So much hustling happening in Pokemon. Yeah, I love it. Well, I love it. People are like, oh, like they, they, they find out and they might not be happy about it because they, they think it's like some, I don't know what they think, but I imagine they have no idea what, what, what's, what actually goes on out there. Probably true. There's the chip lead that Aku Yohan Tausa takes in the heads-up play against the Norwegian Espen Miramo. Blinds have gone up 20K, 40K with a 5K ante. Poker's so interesting. It's such an interesting world. It's been really unexplored yeah. by people. It's like fishing. A lot of elements. A lot of elements. It's like fishing world. You ever been in the fishing world, Jeff? Uh, I've been fishing, but not actually <laughs> in the fishing <laughs> world. <laughs> no, I've been in the competitive <laughs> fishing world. You know there's like Doug Polk of the fishing world? I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so Rob Young in the fishing world it's very too. Very competitive. Kerry Katz, a billionaire, came from from other business, came into fishing, decided he's going to revolutionize fishing, built fishing, fishing central, <laughs> <laughs> fishing masters. <laughs> they have that. They they have everything. <laughs> they like really poker do. has. Buying Michael Jordan, <laughs> competitive fisherman. He jumps into the mix. No way. Fishing. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. I think I saw that photo. It was yeah. some big, big fish. There's a fishing tournament, too, going fishing. Going fishing? Poker, poker, po poker world, same thing. Yeah. A lot of people fishing in poker world. Hello to Octavian, to Chris, to Frank, to Dope159 in the chat. What's up, Octavian? What's up, man? What's up? Octavian says, Aku... The golden mane, Yohan Tausta is a legend. Beautiful hair. I mean, it looks yeah. like a like golden golden retriever kind of hair. I mean, that's beautiful hair. <laughs> I had hair like that when I was younger. And by younger, I mean about uh, three weeks ago during quarantine. I had that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
signs full for uh, Kuki. Nothing really happened. Nothing down. too crazy happening there. Yeah, yeah. Nothing eventful happening there. We all got some deeper stacks here. Throughout this week, in heads up, we've seen a ton of small pots and then just one massive collision, right? Yeah, we for see like it kind of, they feel each other out. Yeah, they're limping, that's right. limp, that's limp, limp, that limp, 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 limp. And then one guy is like, all right, I had enough. Starts right. raising every hand, me. switches yeah. it up. Another yeah. player fights back and they start battling it out. And I would like to see someone who just sticks with the limping strategy while the other person goes with a very aggressive big blind strategy facing limps and also an aggressive button strategy because that would force you to be mm. in an interesting situation where you're just limping in every pot you play and you're facing a lot of aggression from the big blind and you're also facing a lot of aggression when you're in the small blind. So, or reverse that. I mean, heads up's a little weird. I was getting kind of confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was playing a lot of heads up yesterday and uh, I was just playing 100% of my hands, limp limping or 3Xing. So, building up some strats. I kind of, I think I'm going to start, so I'm going to start a private club where we just all play pot and tournaments together uh -huh. and uh, everybody gets better. And we'll work at our game, and then, uh, and then, uh, I'm a, then it's gonna be my stable, and then I'm putting them in all the pot. <laughs> okay, <tournaments>. okay, okay, <laughs> nice. Isn't that what they do for business, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good for good. the game, that makes right? Sense. Guarantees are going up. Good that for the game. Sense. Everyone else seems to enjoy these things. No, I'm kidding. I don't need it. <laughs> I just so want you want a couple? You want multiple pot limit Omaha tournaments? Yeah, yeah, I awesome. want more than one. Yeah. There we go. And Jeff, when I say this, the, the, the players weren't. The skill level uh, of, uh, of a Jeans 89 or an Elis Parsonen, but in fact, we might argue these were some of the worst players I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and you've seen some bad players. And I've definitely <laughs> seen some bad players in my time. Shout out to Julia 753 from Russia. <laughs> Anybody who played on Poker Stars 10, 20 PLO games when Julia sat down, you know what I'm talking about right now. Wait list was crowded. The seat scripters, the, they were like, this oh is like God, before yeah. seat script. There was one guy who had like some super script. I don't even know what happened. He would instantly sit down only when Julia showed up. This was the worst poker player on yeah. Poker Stars I've ever seen. Oh, that's saying a would, lot. Would reload and just, I mean, it was, it was, yeah. It was an event. It was something. I mean, anyone out there, there's going to be like 10 people that are like, oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm connecting with, I'm connecting yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. I mean, maybe by 10, I mean, they're probably, the 10 would, that would know my three are watching. Pretty niche. That's what it's just against buddy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty niche, I would say. <laughs> That's true. For super high roller ball online, I made like a Scott Van Pelt, Tim Kirkton kind of sort of reference, but you have to really know them in their interviews. And I was like, that was probably a bit too niche for our broadcast audience. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Maybe your commentary strategy is more relatable. I think you can be niche here and there, you know? Mm hmm. My God, I sure love pizza. I mean, pizza is one of my <laughs> right, favorite like what foods. Are we like yeah, right. sausage, pepperoni, popcorn. <laughs> I love popcorn, Jeff. Popcorn so good. Do you guys like popcorn out there too? Right. Everybody uh, likes pop. Yeah, you know, that's not us. Maybe that's, maybe that's the better. No, no, thank you. Too boring. Yeah. A cool. We'll raise it up on the button. A cool. Aspen, Aspen. Colin, Ace Ten Nine Deuce. You can see a lot of these guys are favoring the Ace High hand, especially yeah. heads up. The high card's powerful. Check, check. There's a jack on the turn. Jacks and tens for Aspen. He's going to be looking to check call here at least one time with that top pair, top kicker for the second pair. Check calls queen on the river. Not loving his hand right now. But Aku's not not doing. Uh, check check. Yeah, I mean theoretically here, when you're when you're gonna bet this river, you're gonna want to have a much different <laughs> hand than six five five four. But <laughs> we've seen some crazy stuff this that's week true, this week, Jeff. True. So I mean, listen, I you know we can go optimal, but Max in the chat, how much is first place? Good question. Good question, Max. Two hundred thousand dollars. Well, even two hundred spot. About one hundred twenty eight k for second. Alexander in the chat. Hey Joey, can you please share how you study? The great game of Pot Limit Omaha. I, I feel like that's like a course, like a hundred dollar course where mm -hmm. I charge people a lot to study. But uh, well, <laughs> some great programs out there, brother. I forgot to talk about <laughs> the programs on Poker Go uh, atmosphere. There's a lot of great programs, right? I think the basic yeah. way you, you 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 know you try to do it is the programs really change the game. I mean, honestly, you have a group of friends, right? You get your friends get together, you guys play hands, you send each other the hands, you go over the hands, you talk about the alternative plays you could have made. You start with your pre-flop ranges. There's plenty of things out there. 
that are great pre-flop ranges. You get your pre-flop ranges down, you get your three bet ranges down, and then you move on from there. You go to the flop, you try to figure out, okay, how do I play these board textures? You study those board textures with you and with your friends, and you see how well you execute that strategy in real time. Ideally, you want to find out the optimal strategy in terms of what to do on these different textures, and then you try to figure out what are the heuristics I take away from that idea that I can apply to other situations, and you start to build your strategies out, and then you, okay, well, you study the exploits. Okay, well, if my opponent's playing not optimally, how do I potentially exploit their strategy? And then you do the same thing. You work with the programs, you work with the people around you, you play in real time, and you build up your strategy, and you build up your understanding of all these different situations. And then if you keep doing this consistently, you're going to understand a lot of situations very well, and you're going to have a great group of friends who are also getting better with you over time. Simple. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it sounds simple to me. Simple. Sign me up. Basically, go over your hands with your friends. Uh, just a quick note. We saw uh, Aku with that set of nines, remember, against Aku. the wheel that uh, Espen had. Don't tell me we had an issue. With no, 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 no. No, the cards were right. He just wants to let us know that he did not snap fold the set of nines. He had to think about it. Who said that? Bit. Aku? Aku. Where do you say that at? Well, you know, me and Aku very, very good friends. We go way back. Where do you say that at? Uh, he DM'd me and said that. He DM'd you and said that? Yeah. He was so – He was so. <laughs> these guys are watching the broadcast <laughs> back. Shout out to my guy, Aku. What's up, man? Let me see that hair. Send me a DM. You know, I, I guess yeah, I can't. You have to fi- I have to follow someone and send me a DM on, on Twitter. He didn't snap fold? Okay, good. He at Did least thought about it. Fold. So we'll be a little I say, what hesitant I, with timing tells sh- moving forward. Seven say, on what the a river. strange guy if he just snap folds a river. <laughs> <there with laughs> the, set. the straight for Aku. It's a strange play, but man, Aku. Kings and sevens. Oh, So uh, Aku has that nut straight here, Jeff. And when he gets raised here, Espen is not going to be loving his hand. He's got the he's got the Danville's area. Does he have Danville's area? Does he have three pair there? No, he's only got two pairs. Sorry, no Danville's area in there. You know why they call he it the Danville's area, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Use your imagination, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Listen, three uh, pair, Danville's there, you know. Alexander in the chat says, great answer, Joey. Thank you on You're the welcome. study. I, I, I greatly, I, I didn't really give you the full answer. I gave you like yeah, well, that's fine. 25% of the answer, but I felt like I set you down enough path where if you listen to that, you'll be able to kind of get better at your game. 20K, 40K blinds with a 5K ante. Heads up for the title of event number 11, a 10K blind. 49 entries in this one, but with the 500K guarantee, that means 500K in the prize pool. Six spots paid. Four yeah. moved on to day two. I was thinking about a tournament last night. I was talking yeah. with uh, one of the guys I work with. Shout out to my man, Danny. And I was saying, I want to put on a tournament where I give an extra $10 million to first place. An extra $10 extra million? Extra $10 million to first place. I'm thinking. No cr- deals? <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah. no. No yeah. deals. No. <laughs> if I find out they make you a deal, they're against. never. I'm, oh, I'm oh. blacklisting them from all the <laughs> tournaments around the world, man. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. Okay. Extra 10 mil up top. 10 mm. Wow. Have to gr- gonna have to grind and network a little bit, get some good sponsors yeah. for that one. Make sure make sure the content plan's quite down. And probably gonna take a loss in the events. So gonna have some good investors who are willing to participate mm-hmm. in a losing potential business, but be some great content. Think I of the like high, that. Think of the bubble. It, I mean, first that, place fourteen million, second place two. <laughs> that kind of follows the the PGA Tour model for their playoffs. Oh, does FedEx it? Cup and FedEx is just like, hey, here's ten million dollars to the winner, like a, an additional ten million dollars in addition. To the money that you won in the tournament. Oh, okay. Here's an extra. 10 oh, million. interesting. Yeah, I mean, they're so probably call they're, FedEx. They're probably printing on on advertising for that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, they're you know, ten million for them, not, not right, much. Right, right, right. But to to their credit, to that idea's credit, it has drawn a lot more interest towards the end of the golf season. So it's been oh, really good for the game. Interesting. Okay. Good for ratings. Good for exposure, et cetera, et cetera. So. Didn't know you were up on the golf. Yeah, well, golf like that, Jeff. Keep up. Who's your favorite golfer? Tiger Woods. Um, no, it's probably not Tiger. Let's see. He's I cool. like Max Homa a lot. He was on with your boy Ryan Rosillo. Oh, okay, a couple Max. weeks ago. Yeah, my boy. Shout out to Ryan Rosillo. You know he's watching right now. That's right. Shout out to Ryan Rosillo. <laughs> we haven't seen anything too crazy at this final table. These guys are playing nice and solid. Espen yeah. playing a little bit tighter. I think Aku. We've seen Aku play a little bit tighter overall this week, in terms of his strategy. I've been thinking about these heads-ups when you have the chip advantage, right? Do you want to push your edge? Do you want to play really aggressive? Do you kind of want to maybe preserve? Do you want to 
play extra tight and slow, mm-hmm. really fuck with your opponent a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when you know they're pushing. I, I some, Man, that's way from a strap, but... It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Can let one slip here and there. Way too much... Way too much... Uh, Non, you know, there's all this strategy that goes into the game that yeah. like isn't just the actual technical theoretical strategy in terms of how you manage your emotions, how you stay in your own body, how you don't get too out of line, how you don't start tilting and stuff like that. I think of the early part of my career, I wasn't very good at that, but now you start to realize once you put in the, each hand into perspective, it's, it's really its own hand. You know, you lose a hand. I usually get mad when I play a hand poorly, but that's usually yeah. a result of study versus prep, study and preparation versus not being able to execute it in real time. But anytime you, you have a disconnect and be able to execute your strategy in real time and you're unsure why you're doing what you're doing, that means you need to study more, work at your game more, work with your coaches more, work with your friends more, work with your mentors more. But a lot of people in poker don't really follow the complete learning process at all. And the way they actually handle themselves away from the table isn't very good for recovery and for mental and physical recovery. So no one's necessarily doing a lot of the things that they need to mm. because the support systems that they have in place aren't necessarily very strong. So it's hard to stay accountable and do those things. Whereas in other sports, like LeBron's got a team of people with him. Sure. He has people to hold him accountable and all these different things. They're paying attention to his diet, to his training, to his recovery, making sure he's staying balanced. Whereas in poker, people are so unbalanced that there is so much room for improvement to be a competitive poker player in terms of the support team and the structures and managers and assistants and all that kind of stuff yeah, like that. that's a good point. Even like session review, that's my, one of my biggest regrets is I didn't record all my sessions to go back and watch the tape because you hear a lot of sports guys – that go back all about they're, film. Yeah, work, they're yeah. they're tall about film review, and I think poker players really uh, underestimate that too. I've, I haven't really heard that discussed much in terms of yeah, people. Yeah, the life of an athlete is very set up, very structured by a, a team of people. Right, and maybe poker players don't want to live that structured life. Right, I know right, I never right. wasn't necessarily interested in living a very structured life when I was playing full time, and now even now I'm not necessarily as interested in it. But I'd have a lot more success if it was structured. It'd be more consistent success, and it'd probably be more healthy success too. Yeah. I think a lot of people, oh, backdoor trip. Oh, oh baby. Oh. DD, DD, TD. Five. Oh, baby. The hidden backdoor trip. Cross, yeah. We call that one, Jeff. You never see the backdoor five. That's true. Out. Espen bets and takes it. This is Espen Miramo's first cash of the Poker Masters Online PLO series. He has three live caches to his credit in his career, two in the great game of Potlum in Omaha. He won a PLO scoop event in May. Five hundred thirty dollar buy-in, and in 2015 he won the Scoop Sunday Million for almost two hundred forty thousand dollars on Norway's National Day. Oh yeah, yeah. So he had family watching then from around the world. Perhaps he has family. I hope he does. Tuning in today. Probably got some beautiful cousins <laughs> on Poker Central's you know I mean? YouTube channel. Some Norwegian cousins. Yeah, probably so. Married man now, but on Poker Goes Facebook page. Well. Are yeah. you married? No. Okay. But locked down. Mm. All right. We'll get to that later. <laughs> Ace nine eight four double suited for Aku. Click that like button on our Facebook page on the YouTube Tap. channel. Click subscribe. Tap it in a gentle yet passionate way. Mm. Tap it like you would. Yep. Got where you were going there. <laughs> I've been just check calls here with the bottom, with the top two pair. Aku has the gut shot straight draw backdoor and a flush draw. Turns nothing. Could bet again though, and he decides to bet again. Espen's in a very tough spot. He does call, and now he's going to be facing a really tough decision mm. on this river here. His hand does look like a uh, a one pair type hand with a straight draw, maybe a six four type hand. Does have some two pairs as well too. Once he does check call the turn here, and Aku is not going to fire. So Aku had that blocker, you can see in his hand. He had a blocker, he had a double gutter there, he had a fine hand to two barrel there with. You're going to want to have your ideal two pair candidates there are going to include fours in it. Aku has more than $1.2 million in live tournament caches. 14 of his 56 tournament caches are in Potlum and Omaha. The great game. The great game indeed. At the start of Heads Up Play, Mirmo indicated that he was interested in a deal. Aku said, no deal. Oh, I have a thin yeah. chance for the jacket. I have to get max points. He has 252 yeah, points point. coming into today. If he won, he would Whatever. have 452 and move into I'm playing the, the next. Four. I'm playing the next PLO Poker Master. I don't care oh, what it is. It. I'm, I'm, it. I'm getting in the mix. Love it. Love it. I can't wait. I'm coming for these Finnish guys. Okay, let's go. Aku, coming for you, buddy. 
That'd be fun. Yeah, get after him. Give me something to live for. <laughs> I do. I do just love when the series has a a standings, a leaderboard. <laughs> I love it too, man. To just good for marketing go for as well. Glory. If I yeah. want a purple jacket, good for marketing. Put on the Instagram bio right at the top. Oh, of this purple you, jacket. You winner. would be the greatest for the poker masters as far as marketing is concerned. Because you'd wear it all the time. I'd be wearing it in videos. Our, previous, I just our put very it on. first winner, Stefan Sondheimer. I've held this against him ever since. He didn't even come back the next year to defend his championship. He's busy drinking. He can't be bothered. It's fine. <laughs> He's having a drink, playing some two five zoom, winning at 10, yeah. 15 big blinds per hundred. He's a busy yeah, guy. Right, you know what I mean? Right. Come on. Ali Amshurovich won the next year. Sam Saverl the year after that. You know, Sam's probably ba bathing in the purple jacket. You know, he's probably cherishing that purple jacket, right? Eh, could be. Could be. Shout out to Sam. Ali has been a little bit more willing to wear it out and about. Well, out and about is a different story. I know you're talking about wearing it out and about. I'm not going to go wear it to Excess Nightclub or something like that. You imagine me pulling up in the purple jacket. Out and jacket. about means he's played a Can tournament. Can you imagine me getting before. a table at Excess yeah, with my buddies sick. and wearing the purple jacket to the nightclub with no undershirt? They'd probably pay you an appearance fee. They probably would. I'll tell them, I mean, tell them you got 123,000 YouTube subscribers. All of a sudden, companies start looking at you differently. See, so look, there you go. Real strange world out there, and Jeff. Real yeah. weird. I don't know how to really do that kind of stuff. I need I need Drew. I saw Drew negotiate. I need Drew as like my agent. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> Drew, Drew said a couple things yesterday, and you're like, "Wow!" I yeah, I was like, real. "I need a forceful <laughs> yeah. guy like that as my agent. Like that guy to be a that'd be like a great guy to have on your team, like reaching out for you right there. Get you a good and deal. And he can do everything. I mean, the man fixes all problems that we have in the studio that's, that's as well. Kind of, so literally, the kind of guy you want. He can negotiate for you. He can fix that's the, the kind of guy you want right yeah. there, man. You gotta fight for you. He's ours, though. Sorry. No, he's not an agent. <laughs> no. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought he was. I thought he wasn't. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's a producer on the show. Okay, makes sense. Got producer Zach leading the way today. Zach Ralston. Shout out, Zach. Nothing crazy going on here. Got Sean Kelly, David Ross, Ed in the back, making sure we're in line. Producer Sam with the bios. Liking this battle. Espen clawing his way back here. Yeah. Aku struggling we'll back Steven. against the wall, losing that chip lead a little bit here. Dan Gotti and Mori Eskandani, of course, leading the way for our entire Poker Central production team. This is the Poker Masters Online PLO Series. It's the great game of Pot Lemon Omaha. You're getting better at this. Thank you. I'm very proud of your... your That's all you. That's your coaching. Hey, I'm very proud of your uh, your transition to from... What did you say at first? You said, like, pot... I can't even say it, so yeah, I, I can't, I I can't actually been, say right. pot another way I probably besides... I said, like, a pot. A pot Lemon Omaha. Put, put. Poot, pot, pot, you, uh, pot, pot, Texas yeah. twang. It's real hard to say, not say it with the emphasis on the ot after you, you start doing it. Uh, try it at home. You can't. It's possible. Can't be done. Yeah, we'll work on that. So Espen here has a uh, fine hand continuation bet here. Aku has the uh, oh, top pair plus back door and the open and straight draw. He's going to check call one. Espen's hand still best. Yeah, Espen going to check back here. He does. Rivers the five. Aku gets there on the end with the straight. So Aku's got to think about sizing here. So you want to go big. I probably wouldn't go very big here. I think two-thirds pot's quite nice. Unfortunately, uh, Espen does not have a hand to call with. Ideally, your ha calling hand is going to be two pair here with one blocker. So like a jack 710, mm. jack 910, something like that, that you might check back the turn with. Your one pair hands are not going to be calling here on the river very often. Even if you think your opponent is a psychopath, you do not want to <laughs> start calling with the king-king 9-4. You ideally want to have one blocker and start when the hands you start thinking about calling there in spots like that. Queen, queen, four, deuce for Aku links in. Aku's got future blockers here. Could st think about start betting this hand in the flop, but we're seeing we're seeing pretty passive play here. Now he has another flush blocker. Espen turns top and bottom. Paris is going to be a hand. He's going to check call at least one straight with. You're going to want to be check calling. Uh, most of your two pairs here that aren't jack seven specifically. And king seven probably maybe fold that hand too. But yeah, Aku is, is playing really passive here. We mentioned that Espen Miramo might have some family watching for his big online tournaments. And Ole Petter Miramo hits us up on Twitter, says <laughs> Miramo does have family What's watching. Up? Smiley What's face happening? me. What's going on? What's his name, Ola? Uh, maybe Ola. Sorry if I'm butchering the... Norwegian pronunciation. What's up, Ola? What's happening, man? Nice to thanks for tuning in. Shout out to Norway. What's the weather? The weather's beautiful in summertime out there, oh, Jeff. June weather in nice. Norway. Norway. Oh, weather. my gosh, man.
Oh, 73 and partly cloudy. Oh, Just the dream. Everyone's got the nice tan going on over yeah. there. Uh, yeah. Sounds great. We're in quarantine world here in Las Vegas. GTO headquarters on the Vegas Strip. That's right. It's a little bit warm. Scott Koo here. Easy continuation bet. One third pot. Just check back here. Most players are going to be C betting here at a pretty high frequency. Saku plays a lot more on the tighter side here, which doesn't necessarily mean it's bad or anything. It's just a different kind of style that most players aren't necessarily doing as a default. Unfortunately, both River top pair. Espen goes for the value bet here. Aku does call. And Espen takes on a little pot there. I think most players are defaulting to a very small C bet on double paired boards like that. Maybe too much, so he wants to have Jack 10-7-4 in a check back range too weak. Could go either way with it. About a seventy-two thousand dollar difference. Especially if your opponent if your opponent's not 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 necessarily attacking. We haven't seen many board textures like that, but if your opponent's under attacking you, then you might consider betting more there. Shout out to Richard Greco. Shout out to Phil Galfon. Shout out to Isildrew. Got to get Phil Galfon in these. Yeah. We need Phil Galfon in the mix. I mean, yeah. he probably didn't know. He can't go to Canada. They locked him out of the country. Yeah. Aku, our chip leader, and he is in second place right now in event number 13 going on right now. The Let's one go, day buddy. 10K. Okay. He only trails Patrick Antonius in that one. Aku also still alive in event number 14, the 5K one day. So How old is Patrick Antonius? How old is jacket? he? Oh, that's a good question. I'm serious. He's been working out a lot on Instagram. Yeah. Really avid fitness man. He is a machine. How old is he? I hope I'm I hope I'm still working out that hard when I get when I get his age. He's a little he older than me. He is thirty nine. Oh, I'm not that much younger, never mind. <laughs> 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 I am still working out that hard. He's really working out though, man. Yeah. Fasting and stuff. I mean he's yeah, he's a, does it all. Tennis player. Top set for Aku, he bets and takes it down. Big tennis guy he is, Patrick Antonio. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does Aku have any hobbies, you think? Aku looks, uh, yes. he looks like he looks like uh Aku looks is like a pickleballer. Aku has a sharp focus on physical conditioning, mm -hmm. loves skiing, soccer, badminton, running, cycling, swimming, and also, Joey, enjoys stair racing. This dude's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> I'm sorry, anyone that loves stair racing is, is nuts. Stair racing. This guy's nuts. Sta he loves stair, stair racing. racing he likes to race up the stairs. I think it's it is what it sounds like, but I, I need to sp I need to spend time with this guy. I love this guy. I I, I mean, this is my kind of guy yeah. right here. Yeah. A fellow crazy person who likes stair <laughs> racing. He likes I'm stair in. racing. Let's go. I want to do a prop bet with Aku. Me and him are gonna race upstairs. Okay. <laughs> I'm serious right now, Aku. Next time you're in Vegas, I mean, we're gonna, gonna have go to get serious odds. That's I know. Or I'm a head start. For odds. I'm, 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 I'm a stallion. I, mean, listen, I'm, I need something to train uh, yeah. for. Give me a reason okay, to live, Jeff. Okay, okay. Give me a reason to live. Okay. Right. I'm ready. Give me something to train for right now, man. What do we got to do? We got to call up my boy Lance Armstrong. Get some, uh, get some of that blood in oh, me. Oh boy. Yeah. Some of that uh, uh, European blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eight seven seven double suited. If they're all good. doing it, is it cheating? Uh. Whatever, man. He's enjoying his Maybe. life. He just had like an archite archi architectural digest episode, and his family are enjoying it, living it up, yeah. drinking wine in some mountain town. He's doing fine. He's not worried about what. Really, really nice guy, that Lance Armstrong. Is he? Just treated people so well. No, abs absolutely. What do you do? Correct. I don't know anything about him. Is he? Um, mean yeah, guy? I mean, he just bashed everybody who accused him of any kind of steroid use. Straight there for Aspen, not flush for Aku. I didn't know you were big in the cycling world too, Jeff. You got some <laughs> yeah, hidden, yeah, hidden interest yeah, over yeah, here, yeah. Jeff. We're we're picking we'll you up, picking right. you out. I'm like a therapist over here, figuring <laughs> out more about you right now. So you like cycling, also. So cycling, I mean, cycle. obviously the main cycling expert at Poker Central is, of course, Remco Rinkema. <laughs> oh my God, fuck I mean, this I hill on Instagram. Yeah. Go follow him right now, posting some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful biking it's, it's photos around the Las Vegas. He's always out on the trails, or even not the trails. He just bikes everywhere. <laughs> Well, if he needs trails. Sold, sold his car. He, ta he takes a 45-minute yeah. bike ride to Poker Go Studios when he needs to work. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Coincidentally enough, he's now doing Run It Back with Remco from home. So yeah, it makes right, sense. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to come in for that one. Aspen, a little tight fold with the 10-5-4-3 here. 
Does Espen's it family play? Is it Espen's family on Twitter? Are they big Pop Manama enthusiasts? Is it like a big thing in Norway? Are they all getting together at the family dinner playing Pop Manama? Good question. King Queen 10 4 with diamonds. Ooh. Raku, Ace King Queen 9, double suited. That's a pretty one. Pop it up. For Espen, he'll 3 bet it. Beautiful hand. You want to be 3 betting here? Raku makes the call. 730K in the pot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It comes Queen 10 3. This could be. It's top two for a coup. We haven't been seeing these huge Ace pots. I, I mean, it, if any spot could be it, this could be it right here. With the Broadway draw, with the backdoor flush draw. So if he gets raised here, what is Espen going to do? If he gets raised, he knows that Aku said has to be very strong. But once again, he's got a pretty strong hand as well. Aku's thinking here, what, what do I do, right? Top two, mm -hmm. no redraw, no backdoor. Backdoor straight draw, actually. Espen hasn't been three betting him much. He's going to have a very strong range here. Very tough spot to decide what to do. He does raise it up. He raises pot. Can't go wrong with that. I think that's a safe option, really. He's just potted here. And Espen says, let's play for it all. Aku says, okay. And here we go. More than 6.2 million in the middle. Aku, Yoan Tausta, the slight favorite. Seven on the turn. Becomes a bigger favorite. River card. It is the Ooh, three of it. diamonds, and that will do it. Sixth time is a charm for Aku Yoantausta. He wins event number 11, the 10K buy-in. He takes home $200,000 and 200 more points Aye. in the race for the coveted purple jacket. He's got a real shot He's at it. He's got a shot, man. He played well there. Enjoyed that final table. That was a, a great battle, a great mix. I'm nice to see Aku win, especially after he's had those uh, a little bit lower place finish at the final mm -hmm. table. Espen couldn't pull through, unfortunately, for him and his family out there watching around the world. But hopefully we get to see him back in that 50K main event. Hopefully uh, we, we see him in the mix, and I'm sure we're going to see Aku in the mix as well, too. So I'm excited to see if he can close it out with that purple jacket. And Joey said it. Next is the main event. It is a 50 thousand dollar buy and a 1.5 million dollar guaranteed prize pool our coverage of that main event will start tomorrow 7 30 p.m eastern 4 30 p.m pacific time again that is day one coverage of the main event for now congratulations to aku yoan tausta the winner of event number 11 the 10k plo for two hundred thousand dollars a well-deserved victory to say the least two more tournaments going on right now in this poker masters online series events number 13 and 14 stay tuned to poker central for the latest find out who will win that coveted purple jacket for our fantastic crew for joey ingram i'm jeff platt we'll see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching poker masters online plo series take it easy guys peace out